I'm going to demonstrate how to implement network failover. That is, instead of load balancing traffic across two or more active devices, we will send traffic only to one device. And then, only when that device goes down, do we reroute the traffic to another one. Now, the configuration is very similar to load balancing, with one difference. Here, you can see that I have an active config for my web server group. Now, if I click the default server group, you'll see that I have two active servers in here. I'm going to click to remove this second one. Now, this doesn't delete the device, of course. It just removes it from this configuration. I'm now going to create a failover group. Give it any name you want. Now manage it. And then drag and drop that second server into it. Lastly, we need to make sure that a monitor is active on the server that remains in the default server group. Without a monitor, we won't be able to detect an outage and proactively switch over to the failover group. In this case, I see that a check is already there. And I also have an alert list configured, so I'll receive a notification when it fails over. So we're good to go. And that really is it. Of course, this only scratches the surface of our capabilities. When the primary device comes back online, the traffic will automatically fail back to it. If you don't want that, you can toggle the auto fail back right here. And of course, you're not limited to what I've shown here. You could incorporate load balancing across multiple servers and then fail over if all of them go down. But I'll save those further details for another video. Hopefully, this is sufficient to get you started.